Welcome to the first winter quarter edition of Football Friday. I'm Ralph Irvin, and I'm here in the UCLA Hall of Fame with, look who's back, UCLA offensive lineman Xavier Suofila. Welcome back to campus. How does it feel to be back in school? Thanks a lot. It feels great, man. It's uh, just like how I remember it. <laughs> Beautiful weather, good classes. Um, feels great. Well, let's go back not two years, but actually three years. Okay. You made the decision to come to UCLA. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it went well that first year, but then you followed up by choosing to come back. Mm -hmm. Well, it was just all of this, a decision that I, you know, I decided that maybe it would be an option. I kind of wanted to decide if I was going to make it um, or not. You know, I think me having a successful freshman season really helped me feel comfortable around here. I mean, I mean, aside from football, everything else was great at UCLA, and you know, I really had a good experience. Uh, I just felt like me going on my mission that I needed to do it at that time or else I never was. Well, and I know as a person who went to school here and graduated mm -hmm. that you always look back fondly in your time on campus. And I imagine that while you were on your mission down in the southeastern part of the U.S., mm -hmm. those same thoughts crept in that you thought about the good times here in Westwood. Yep, I did. Um, I don't know, just all my experiences, I was able to, you know, think about them when I was on my mission and, and think about how much I enjoyed college and my experience and, you know, honestly couldn't wait to come back over here. Talk about your time on the mission, how much you matured and grew as a person. Well, it was a tough experience. If I did uh, describe my mission in two words, it'd be humbling and hard. <laughs> really, it was uh, such a special experience for me. Um, it was tough times and great times, I guess. It was like a roller coaster, kind of up and down. But it really, you know, tested you, your diligence, your faith, your, uh, I guess, your drive, your motivation to be a faithful servant of the Lord. Um, I learned a lot about myself, a lot about other people. I learned a lot about, um, you know, the gospel in general, the scriptures. Um, it was very, very, I guess, beneficial to my life, beneficial to my future family's life, my own family's life, and, to, you know, to the many people that, that I was blessed to meet and serve. Well, and I would, you know, people think about someone 18, 19 years old going off to college, going off on their own. In this case, it wasn't going to college. You weren't going to be a teammate of someone. This is going off really to do work. And so you have to grow up personally. I mean, you have to become a much more mature person very quickly. Yeah, I mean, and you have to adjust. Um, being comfortable with being uncomfortable was something that I learned how to do. And, you know, like you said, a lot of kids who are 18, 19 years old, they don't think about, you know, serving the Lord, you know, going on a mission. And, you know, it is a very neat experience to grow up, to see what was important in life, to change around my priorities, to give me, I guess, more of a, a grown perspective, an eternal perspective of things that, you know, really matter in life instead of just, I don't know, temporal things, you know. One of the things that you did learn was how to speak Spanish yeah. and uh, talk about how different it is now. I mean, being essentially bilingual and able to talk in, in a totally different language from the experience. Yeah, well, it's funny you mentioned that because before my mission, I, I don't know why, but I've always had a love for the Spanish language. I could never speak a lick of it, but I always wanted to learn it. So, you know, I was hoping that when I did serve a mission, I would get to go Spanish speaking. And when I did, I took full advantage of it. Anything from, you know, the flags, different countries, different accents, the culture, the food, everything I love about it, the Latin culture. And I love how each country is so diverse and so different. And so when I was able to learn Spanish, since I've been on campus, I've tried to find people every single day that speak Spanish and ask them and talk to them about it, use my Spanish. And, and you know, it's been a great opportunity to meet people just because now that I'm bilingual, I feel like that opens up a whole new door of, of opportunity to talk to even more people, to get to know more people, you know, so... Well, talk about coming back here to UCLA. One thing that you liked when you made the decision to come here, and, and you've said to me that you enjoyed once you were here, mm -hmm. is how open everything was culturally. I mean, you're not an outsider here. There's so many places to fit in. Yeah, I mean, it's great just, you know, me having a Polynesian background. I didn't grow up, you know, so, I guess, culturally in, in my Samoan culture. But I have a lot of teammates that were able to connect the same way, make that connection. It's really nice to... You know, know that being here in L.A., it's such a big city, you know, that, you know, you have anything and everything, you know, diversity of food, diversity of cultures, languages. I've been amazed to see how many different, you know, students are here, how many different clubs that they have to, you know, really put yourself out there to apply yourself, to learn different cultures and to meet different people. Also, you know, with me and my religion, 
you know, there's a lot of different churches, not only mine, but a lot of different churches nearby. And I just guess, to me, LA, I guess, has it all. The only thing they don't have is, is mountains and snow, but I can get that in Utah anytime. So. Uh, Xavier, have you had a chance to uh, meet the new coaching staff, specifically uh, Coach Mora or Coach uh, Clem? Yeah, I have. Um, Coach Mora and Coach Clem, you know, my they're, they're great guys. I've met a lot of other guys on the staff. I think that Coach Mora has a, a good idea, a good plan of what he wants to do, and I know he really wants to win. And, you know, it's it's fun for us and you know for me just because all I knew was coach new has on his staff now that I'm back it's almost like I'm a new recruit on, a, on the same team that I was and so I'm very you know excited for the opportunity to take what they have to teach us what they have to learn and and to really apply it because I think that you know they're trying to form a staff to win to be great and that's that's all I wanted that's what I wanted to do when I came back is you know along with my experience at UCLA with my decision to come back was to win games too because you know nobody likes losing so how excited are you to go through a winter lifting program and get in that weight room oh, man I can't tell you man I've lost so much strength since I've been on my mission I'm just excited to go through winter to go through a true off season because I never got that opportunity before to really be prepared and really to sweat and, and lift it out with my team to for us to grow together go through winter go through spring you know see where we're at go through summer and then by the time we hit fall camp Hopefully we'll be, you know, be rolling and, and things will go smoothly. But I'm just excited to, you know, to learn from everyone, to get to know other players and, and to essentially, I guess, mesh with a brand new environment with, or not environment, I guess, with a brand new team and, I guess, brothers that, that we have here. So. All right, before we sign off, give me a little something in Spanish. Oh, man. Um, okay. In Espanol, es que me encanta ese idioma y... Quiero que ustedes sepan todos que, pues aquellos ustedes que me entienden que UCLA, UCLA es la mejor escuela en todo el mundo <laughs> y todos deben venir acá. Entonces. All right, Xavier, thanks for the time and welcome back to no, UCLA. No, no. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for having me. That's UCLA tackle Xavier Suofilo once again for the best news and notes on UCLA football throughout the offseason. You get it all right here. Football Friday at UCLABruins.com.